it's time that we talk straight forward about the law of assumption and how to manifest in matter of weeks your new life is possible and why then so many of you are just stuck. It's time to stop BSing yourself and really talk straight. Hello everyone, my name is Nea and on this channel we talk about the law of assumption, manifestation, esotericism, quantum physics and so much more. And if you need DM coaching, the link is down below as well as my e-courses to manifest your SP, learning tarot and all this jazz. And if you want to learn also how tarot might fit even the law of assumption, I have videos dedicated to that. You just have to subscribe and look at all of the library of videos that I made because I think there are more than a hundred. Anyway, let's start with this video. So guys, it's time that we talk straightforward. Is it possible to recreate a complete new life where you find your SP, the love of your life, the money, the career in matters of weeks? Absolutely. And if not completely a hundred percent recreating your life, definitely you should start seeing movement in my opinion, in matters of weeks. I do not care what other people say. Oh, it's a limiting belief. It's going to happen whenever it's going to happen. True. I think we should have a level of detachment that we should be open mind into things unfolding naturally. However, because I experimented the law in myself heavenly, I started to see results in matters of days since the beginning, but I was dip disciplined enough to repeat my visualizations as well as affirmation. Now I made already video on how your imagination is God and I highly suggest you to watch that video, but to cut it briefly over here, everything is mind, everything is thought. So I don't care whether you call it visual visualization, scripting, or affirmation, it does not matter because you're still thinking thoughts and that's all that matters. But what happened for the majority of people, you're simply ain't disciplined enough. And that's all that is to it. That's why you're not seeing movement in matters of weeks. And the reason this is, and I know this is for a fact, is because you keep bitching around. Whatever you speak out loud into reality is going to be your reality. You can't just be a part-time manifester. And that's what many of you are. You are a part-time manifester. And I mean, we are constantly manifesting. When I mean part-time manifester is because you you're consciously a part-time manifester. So let's do a typical scenario. The typical scenario, let's talk about SPs since you guys are very much into it. Well, obviously this could be translated into money and I will also give examples about money and career. So you go and you find this videos about the law of assumption and you start diligently doing your affirmation. Now, the first thing that you do is freak out on how much of affirmations or visualization you have to do. That already tells you that you are not in the right state of consciousness because if you will be already in that right state of consciousness it's really not about how many times you say the affirmation sure repetition is important but follow me through why repetition is important and I will also give you the scientific reason on why repetition is important and in what way repetition is important. And I talk thoroughly about the science behind the law of assumption in my replay to the webinar. You find, I did a webinar about the science behind the law of assumption. The link is down below and it's my most sold webinar course because it just has so many information. It's four hours of information. You, I mean, but follow me through on this video. So what happens is you have a pattern and a habit of thought that is being created through years of repetition and you're not even consciously aware of it. That's why we call subconscious pattern. So let's say for instance that you want your SP or maybe you want to meet someone new that is your ideal match. To be honest, it makes little to no difference for the purpose of the manifestation in and of itself. And you start doing the affirmation, I am so happy and grateful, I've met the right guy for me, I'm so happy and grateful, he or she, they is the way that I want them to be, and you start looping the affirmation. Then your habit of pattern, your pattern, start kicking in. Let's say that usually you're the kind of person that, and I've been there, so no judgment one whatsoever, but you're the kind of person that as soon as this person texts you a message or as soon as something happens or doesn't happen, you go bitching about with your girlfriends or you come into the videos, it's not working or he did this and he did that and you start freaking out. 
you have thrown away all the time and energy that you have spent on those affirmation. Same thing is for money. I have this amount of money. I have this amount of money. I have this amount of money. And then all of a sudden a bill comes about and you just freak out and start bitching about like guys, you cannot be as yourself, but I don't care because at the end of the day, you are the one not getting what you want. And even if you say I did everything correctly, I did everything correctly. Probably not because otherwise you would already have it to some extent, or you would already see some movement. The thing is, is that you disconnect and contradict the affirmation through different thoughts, through spiraling observation of the 3d and bitching about, and you need to cut off that pattern. So that's why with my clients, I start not with affirmation, but not because I don't believe in the power of affirmation of visualization. I start with changing self first. Now, this is not a limiting belief. It's because I saw people struggling with keeping their manifestation. So I start with let's change your personality. Personality means your, your pattern and the way you think, act and feel. So your personal reality, like Dr. Joe Dispenza will say, will automatically change and adding affirmation would only be a plus. So this is the exercise that I make my client do on a constant day to day basis. If you have been done coaching with me is the first thing I ask you to do. I ask you to sit down in a quiet meditative state. You don't have to close your eyes. It's just about thinking. And I want you to think about, you can do this with me right now. I want you to think about how the person, the version of me that has what they want will act, feel and behave. And I want you to write it down. And I also want you to write it down how you act, feel and behave right now. I'm going to give you a practical example because I did this to myself and I know how powerful this can be. And it only takes 10 minutes. It doesn't take 30 minutes, 40 minutes of meditation It's just an act of self-awareness. That's all that is to it. So for example, when I wanted to manifest my boyfriend and even when I was manifesting an SP, I did this and I wrote down, how do I, uh, how would I feel, act, think and behave if I would already be in a happy, healthy relationship? I will spend, I literally, I was honest with myself and I want you to be honest with yourself. I will look at social media a lot less. I will post a lot less because I wouldn't feel the need to show myself in that way. So I, I'm a cat and I'm attracting boys attention in my personal case that for me was an issue I will only use social media for my job because I will be confident enough that my man loves me and I don't need to overly show myself and I will use this media to work on my thing this is personal to me if you love posting pictures that's just totally fine that was something I knew I was doing to catch boys attention so that's very personal you are going to put in your list whatever is personal to you so I will not overly focus on social media that's something that I said. I will not take my phone um, in my bedroom with me because I want to have a good sleep and I am in a trusting, loving and healthy relationship. So I'm not obsessed and neither. I have to look at social media or my phone constantly. And on top of that, I wanted to manifest a, a boyfriend, a man that didn't have social media whatsoever because I don't like when people have social media. I more than, I'm like, you know, I, I'm a YouTuber. I'm more than enough social media for everyone in the house. So that was very personal to me. So why would I even take my phone in the bedroom if he doesn't even have social media? Like, what am I checking? Nothing apart from my friends. So that's something I knew I wasn't going to do. I was not going to go out in bars and seeking for anyone because I knew I was already in a good, healthy relationship. I will take care of myself. I will eat healthy. I will think, oh my God, I am so happy and grateful. I am in this healthy relationship. I will start planning for traveling since it's something that I always wanted to do with my boyfriend. Then what else did I wrote down? I will feel happy and joyful about myself. I will be more concentrated on my job. I will be more concentrated in helping other people. And I created this list for myself. Then I created a list where I said, how do I act, feel, and behave right now that I don't have a boyfriend? Maybe I'm spending too much time on social media. I'm not focusing on myself. I am trying to go out too much to chase other people or to 
find someone. And if I am in seeking finding mode, that contradicts the state of consciousness of being with someone. And I created this old list. And then I said to myself, I am no more this old version of me. I don't think this way anymore. And in that moment, I actually did it. And I start repeating visualizations and affirmation for I believe it's two weeks. I have another video where I explain how I manifested my boyfriend and I went even delusional mode. And so many of you guys are afraid to be delusional, but then what is the difference of being delusional for someone in the something that you want to manifest in the future and be delusional because you're in constant loop or pattern as of the past. So for example, I used to wake up in the morning and feeling the sensation of being with someone next to me in bed, cuddling me because that's something that I wanted. I started looking at traveling and destination. I wanted to go with this person and I started just repeating my affirmation. I am so happy and grateful. I am in the best healthy relationship of my life. And when I was speaking to my girlfriend, I used to be someone that used to moan and talk a lot with my girlfriends about, I don't have a boyfriend, why I don't have a boyfriend, or I was complaining about money or whatever it is. I stopped. I stopped bitching in that period that I was manifesting. And instead, even if it wasn't true, my girlfriend knows I'm into manifestation. I started saying to everyone, I cannot wait for you guys to meet my new boyfriend. It's done. It's been manifesting. I cannot wait to go with him here and here and here. And my, my girlfriends, because they are into manifestation, they were like, of course it's just coming. Of course it's just coming. Same I did with money. I'm earning 50 grand a month every day. I'm earning 50 grand a month. If a bill would have come, I would have been like, I earn a 15 grand a month. And if I would talk to my girlfriend, I would be like, I'm earning 50 grand a month. Everything was in line. I wasn't bitching to anyone. Everything that I was speaking was in coherence to what I was thinking. And some of you might, might think, yeah, but not many of my friends are into manifestation. Uh, how am I going to talk something that is not even real? They will think I'm crazy. That shut up. Shut up. Don't tell them about your personal life. And if they ask, everything is going good. Just say everything is going good. If they ask more, well, those nosy bitches, they need to mind their own freaking business. Just tell them, listen to them. And from one year it goes and from another, it goes away. You don't even know the amount of people that try to advise me things that I don't even pay attention to, but I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. It doesn't penetrate because you are the one choosing whether or not some advice and some of the things that people say are penetrating to you. I do not give a damn what people think of me. What in the comment section when they criticize me, I take intelligent criticism, but then at the end of the day, I do things my way because I know I create my own reality. And then I kept repeating also general affirmation. I cannot stress this enough. I never for a minute said, sit down and said, oh, manifestation is not working. In my mind, it was always working. In my mind, even prior for th to even prior being an instant manifester, I kept thinking and I kept affirming, I'm an instant manifester. I manifest things in less than 24 hours. I get everything that I want. I get everything in a want. In a freaking loop, I did this in the beginning. Now, now do I do this now? a lot? No, because it, it already became an assumption. It already became my belief system. So things are just happening really, really fast. But in the beginning, you need to change your personality in order to change your personal reality. You need to change the pattern. And how are you going to do this if you don't discipline yourself every day to act, think, and feel out the person that has what you want? Now, it's important to think, that's the first thing. If you feel shitty or depressed, I want you to affirm or think it anyway, because your thoughts will create eventually your emotion. Did I have days where I felt depressed? A hundred percent, but I persisted in the repetition of the new thoughts and a new identity. I decided I wanted to identify with a different version of me. And how in the world am I going to identify with a different version of me if I think and act in the same way as before? 
Guys, you cannot be as yourself. You need to be disciplined. You need to think and act and possibly later on feel as the new version of you. I do not care if you don't believe in that amount of money that you want. I do not care if you don't believe that this work. You need to still affirm that this is working. You don't see movement. I want you to say there is tons of movement. There is tons of movement. Don't you see? There is movement. There is movement. There is movement rather than type. I see no movement. He did this. He's done this. I do not care. Care. I do not care. Every single time you're bitching, every single time you're contradicting your affirmation, you are losing time. You are losing energy. So do you want to see your manifestation fast in matters of days a week? You need to stop. You just need to stop and bite your freaking tongue. Because even Florence Kovalshin, my dear teacher, I love Florence Kovalshin, in her book, The Game of Life and How to Play It, she states, whatever you speak out loud into reality, sooner or later will be your reality. So I do not care what you see in the present moment because what you see in the present moment is the byproduct of your past thoughts and your past action to a certain degree or even totally. So you from today on need to be on it. You need to be on that new identity. You start first by getting clear about who is that new identity? Who is that girl? Who is that man? And then following through with the new thoughts and the new and the new action and possibly even feelings, which will come naturally. Affirmations are nothing but thoughts. That's why most of the time I don't, I personally, and this is something personal, I don't even affirm, like I do have a couple of affirmation here and there, like my world takes care of me, everything will be fine. I always said this in my life, everything will be fine. But most of the time, like when I wake up in the morning, I just have an inner conversation with myself. So inner conversation is like, I talk to myself, and I talk to myself in a way where I have what I want. So I don't know, like when I was manifesting money, I used to talk to myself like, of course my videos are going viral. Of course, that's why I'm recording a video right now. Of course I'm making this amount of money. Of course I'm making money as the, you know, as just being myself because that's what I wanted. Was it true six months ago? He wasn't true, but I never cared. I never checked subscribers. I never checked the views. I never checked the money. All of a sudden, one day, boom, it just happened. And when it happened, it felt so obvious because that's what I, where I was living in my mind anyway. You guys need to have this sort of discipline. Now, let's talk briefly about, because this video is so long, about briefly the science and why this works. Because the brain, in the, middle, in the moment that you shut down and imagine something or thinking something, and so subconsciously you're creating some image, your brain doesn't understand the difference to whether or not it's actually happening in the present moment or like more in the present moment in the tangible reality or not because the brain lives in a constant present moment. What the brain does, does understand though, the subconscious mind does understand this is that you're closing your eyes and you are affirming and you're visualizing. The brain does understand this. However, check this out what happened if you do it over and over every day, over and over and over and over again, your brain goes like this. She, they keep repeating the same thing and it seems like they're doing a technique, but then they keep repeating this technique. So your brain gets in a fuzzy mode where doesn't really understand anymore that you're closing your eyes and doing a visualization or that you're affirming your brain starts thinking this must be true. This must be true because they keep repeating it. This must be true because they keep repeating it. And if you don't contradict it, boom. It's going to, your subconscious mind goes at the work and manifest it because of the fact that your brain doesn't understand anymore that you are applying some effort in the beginning, but it just goes into this fuzzy mode. I cannot even, I don't even know how to explain it properly, but it goes into this like almost confusive state where you're like, I know they are repeating this thing. I know they might be visualizing, but it's always the same visualization. It's always the same affirmation. So that must be true because you are controlling your subconscious mind. And when the brain clicks and says, this must be true, you have created a new neural pathway. When a new neural pathway is created because you keep repeating, repeating in the days, not just the act of rep rep repeating a hundred affirmation a day is in the days you keep repeating it. It goes and creates 
create your own reality for you. As we know, the reality is only a mirror. So it's about becoming the new identity on a day-to-day -day basis. Then, if you could only have one thought that is not resistant, okay? An intention that is not resistant and think it once without contradicting it, it will manifest. The problem is this, the majority of people cannot do this is because they have programming in their mind where they're constantly contradicting their intention. If you know that you're contradicting your intention, you're reacting to the 3D, you must persist on a day-to-day -day basis in the new identity. When I mean new identity, the person that thinks, acts, and feel as a new version of you. And it's like crossing a bridge. In the beginning, it will be a little bit difficult. In the beginning, in the middle of the bridge, you will feel like you're losing yourself. You are in the going towards the unknown because the brain wants to go back to what is familiar. But, but if you go back to what is familiar, you are going to recreate the past in your future. You need to cross the bridge and go towards what is not familiar. And what is not familiar is your new thoughts and your new identity. So if you, you can manifest in matters of weeks, if you just freaking do it without contradicting what you are affirming, scripting, or visualizing. I do not care which one technique you use. It's the same. You're still thinking thoughts. Okay. Think those thoughts as the new version of you and be even a bit delusional about it. It's totally fine. Steve Jobs has been delusional and look at him. He manifested his own personal reality because he's being delusional. You got to do it. You got to cross that bridge. You cannot halfway, you, you know, get halfway and then growing back and then complain that you get hot and cold behavior or complain that your reality didn't exactly conform and manifest conscious manifestation is just a matter of like, yes, I did manifest it a little bit here and there, but it never stays. It never stays because you don't stay as the new identity. It's as easy as that. You don't stay. And since reality is a mirror reflection of you, of your state of consciousness, you need to sit in that damn state of consciousness long enough. And long enough means even for a couple of days straight without contradicting. This has been the key of my success. I do not contradict what I'm saying. And I cannot stress this enough. I know this video is long, but I don't care. I'm going to repeat this again. I do not contradict my state of consciousness. Yo, if I'm saying I'm earning 15 grand a month, I better be sure I'm earning 15 grand a month. And I'm, I, like, I'm not going to contradict that. I'm not. If I'm saying I'm so happy and grateful because I'm going to Bali, I've been repeating, you guys, I've been repeating that I'm going to Bali for like a year straight. I am going to Bali. I'm telling you, I am in Bali. Every friend of mine knows this, that I keep repeating, I'm going to Bali. I'm going to Bali. I'm going to Bali. I am freaking going to Bali. For a year straight, I repeated it. And then, guess what? I found a guy that loves traveling and told me, do you want to go to Bali? It just had to happen sooner or later. Now, I did manifest the first other things quicker than going to Bali because probably Bali for my subconscious mind wasn't a priority, but it is, it is done. It's done. I never contradict it. I, the moment I thought I'm moving to London, I thought I just had a split moment. I was on the taxi. I remember in April, I was on a taxi and I looked at Milano while I was going to the airport and I was thinking, goodbye Milano, I'll never see you again. Or probably, but at least like, goodbye. I did this imaginative act in my mind just for fun without even thinking that I was even serious. I didn't even believe in it. I was walking in the tube in Milano thinking I was in London. Guess what? If you guys follow me on Instagram, where my boyfriend lives in London, where am I going in London? Because I didn't contradict the damn thought. You guys saw me manifesting in front of your eyes. Some of you guys have been following me when I had 5,000 subscribers. Sorry, my camera shut down, so I'm recording with my phone to finish the video. So what did I kept repeating? I kept repeating my reality into existence no matter what. And you saw me doing it in matters of weeks in front of your eyes. So I should be a testimony that this works and I'm not special. I'm exactly like you. So guys, no more excuses. 
Just freaking do it. No more bitching. Just do it. I love you. See you in my next videos and on Patreon for extra videos. Bye. Subscribe.